the UFC is back inside the beautiful Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa, Las Vegas, Nevada. This should be a very special evening. We welcome you to UFC Fight Night Live. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We've got a tremendous card for you tonight. Only inside the octagon will you see the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport today. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, our main event is a matchup that both you and I have waited a long time to see. This is a classic matchup, Mike. Both these guys are solid fighters, well-rounded, very tough to stop. They have fantastic conditioning, and this can well, very well shape up to be the fight of the year. I'm excited, and I'm ready to get things started right now. You and me both, partner. Main event should be a great one. A lot of action, in fact, to look forward to all night long. Before we kick it off, though, let's take a quick look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration of three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. night with a bantamweight collision between Mighty Mouse, Demetrius Johnson, and Eddie Wineland. Former WEC bantamweight champion Eddie Wineland has built a career around finishing fights either by submission, knockout, or even vicious slam. This is a wrestler who brings heavyweight power to the bantamweight division. A natural athlete, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson uses his speed and conditioning to overwhelm his opponents and set them up for the finish. And with dangerous submission techniques at his disposal, that finish can come very quickly. to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana, Eddie Wineland. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands five feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Parkland, Washington, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we're ready to Gentlemen, get things started. Ready? Eddie Wineland, ready? Demetrius Johnson. Hello. Let me know if you can hear the fan. And here we go. Let's fight. Ooh. Great combinations. I nice. Uh, let's look. I've got my mic on today. So. Fast hands. Good battle inside. We're not going to have a, 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 we're gonna have another situation like last card. Try to guess the takedown. Tr trying to get the takedown. Yeah, okay. Kick from one. You gotta be careful it doesn't get taken down off those. Ooh, suplex. And it's a full mount. This is unexpected. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. 
Back to side control. Boom! Ooh. Half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Pushes him off with the feet. Nice right to the body. <laughs> yep, first fight. Oh, that's a lot of overhand right. Uppercut counter. He's just getting... Um, he's going a bit wild here. I like that little uh, step jab into the body kick, though. Oh, and the high kick. <laughs> yes. Move this closer to me. There we go. How's that? Is that better? By the way, I may have some online fights coming your way very soon. In the form of a video. So, look out for that one. Ooh, right hands. Is the fan noise prominent? Can you hear it? Or is it not too bad? I have just, well... I woke up recently, so I might sound a bit, not groggy, but, yeah, yeah. ooh, fucking Wynum with the damage, um, yeah, somewhat, well, um, I haven't really decided on when that happens yet, I want those to be a rare thing, you know, want them to, ooh, look at that, DJ with the high kick, look at on that kickboxing, trust go for it again, Wynum maybe getting a little bit too predictable with that um, Superman punch combo, uh, I have thought about it, but also, like, not, not a lot, but, you know, I don't really want... I want them to be rare. Like real fights. Uh, like, well, I suppose they, they are rare, but they're not super rare anymore. It's a shame you can't, like, have the game keep interim champions, because then I could uh, technically do champ v champ fights. Sure, there'd be unification bouts, but they'd also work for being double champ fights. But hey, we can just pretend that the belt just didn't arrive in the suitcase. Some excellent martial arts skills on display in that round, Mike. The beautiful Ariani. He might be ready. Here we go, round two. Oh, shoots immediately. Yes, rolled. That's not. They're not purple trunks game. Ooh. Move my mic a little bit. There we go. Right hands. Uppercuts over the shop. All over the shop. Look at that. Kluches. One using his bigger frame to his advantage here with the grappling. Oh, will he get a big... Not able to connect on that. You know, that reminds me. I've really got to go back and play my Bloodborne skill run again. I haven't got, I haven't got back to it since. It's more of... It's just a casual fun run, but... Hey. But then that reminds me of all the other shit I've got to do as well. But hey, I can play games now, so... Yeah, that's fun. Oh! DJ's in trouble! One look to pour on the pressure! Is this gonna be it? The ref looking to finish! Oh, the oh, ref looking to stop it, rather. Oh, look at this! DJ shoots off his back. Wise decision. Save save his head. Get get his get his the faculties back. Yeah, I did. Uh, well, I think a lot of us did it in striker. One of full guard. Hope it doesn't take too much damage. Yeah, that was... um. I, I, oh, this has got to be it. DJ's in big trouble. It's over. Jesus Christ, Rosenthal. And DJ is protesting that stoppage, despite having his brain matter leaking across the canvas. But hey. Can't really think clearly when... Uh, and you've been smashed like that. Great for Eddie Wyland. Look at it from this angle. <laughs> God 
Damn, they really... Man, the UFC really hates DJ, don't they? <laughs> Official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 47 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Eddie Wineland. Eddie Wineland wins the fight. Yeah, while my mother's watching fights downstairs, she watches she watches them the day after because you know not everyone get no everyone can stay up. So I'm not going to talk about those a ton in case she somewhat overhears overhears me because she won't because I've got a fan on it. She's downstairs, but still, you know, I, I'll talk about them, but like sort of slightly vaguely. Um, but yeah, I agree. Uh. Next fight are undercar bouts. We got a couple of good undercar. I liked his press conference there, Buffett press conference. He seemed pretty, yeah, you know, pretty understanding. You know what I mean? Well, you know, he sort of understood what he did wrong. Yeah, the low kick though. The winner gets Faber on a pay-per-view card this time because I forgot that you can't do championship fights on them. Um, uh, I'm fine, nice, but that's okay. Law reasons for the win. He loves that body stroke. <laughs> he popped for EPO, but it's only like a two-month suspension. Don't worry. I had to actually realise earlier when I was making the fights that I should treat every pay-per-view card as a month because it's 12 pay-per-view cards a year, so... In a game year. I was always being a little bit hesitant to bring people out, so... Or, you know, if they'd fought, maybe I thought it was too recently. Yeah, who knows? Oh, nice high kick! Ooh, high kick, but then he gets put into... Half guard, and that's not a good place to be against Paulo Thiago, who is a very good grappler. But Kim's got his own grappling chops, mostly judo, but we'll see what he does here. Did he get to full mount? No. Butterfly guards. Uh, so this is the second fight. Real life or in game? <clears throat> Look at that. Slices through the guard. Uh, Aldo 2 or. I'm seeing him fight Zabit or someone. Ortega, maybe, if the Zabit doesn't face Ortega for whatever reason. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. Yeah, I think so. That'd be great. Here we go. It's the reversal, what well, it was, and then fucking the Stun Gun just said, nope, I'm going to hit you. See so if Thiago tries to go for some submissions. He's on top again. Those elbows. Ooh. Stun Gun's put the beating on him. Yeah, I don't want to see Aldo fight Korean Zombie. That's too much. I like those guys too much. That's a good fight. I am surprised to see Stun Gun doing so well on the ground here. A little bit of softening out there. Oh, knees. Paulo is uh, looking looking in bad shape right here. I mean, he's got... Oh, mouse, but he's trying to give the submission. Is this going to be it? I think this might be it. This is tight. This is tight. Tiago, Tiago tightening, the, tightening the crank. Oh. He gets it. All right, John, thanks. Never discount Paulo Tiago. He was an asshole in my career mode, but you know we were. There, are, there is no prejudice against him in universe mode. Let's take a look at it again. Here you see, as soon as he pins down that. I don't think Moicano versus Zabit because he's. First of all, Moicano's on two losses and Zabit's on a like a couple wins, so a few wins actually. I think we need to give Moicano a little bit an easier fight. 
Thank you all for coming uh, by, by the way. Yep, tap, snap, or nap. Hey! Sorry I can't pronounce your name, man. I don't understand Russian, but... Hello, anyway. Yeah, you should fight. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's a good point, actually. By the way, it's kind of in a weird place. I would try and make Paolo Costa, but he's kind of hard. His hairstyle isn't in this game. Also, I still didn't change Fedor a little bit, but that's okay. I was going to adjust him a little bit. Most of his age. Also, right. <clears throat> Here's a little uh, live poll we'll do. Do you think I should just uh, create fighter stats based on real life for universe mode? Or based on universe mode performances? Bit of both, maybe? No, I'm from uh, uh, England. The United Kingdom. Bit of both, yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, well, there's a compromise between real life and the game. So we got a bit of both, yeah. Thanks, man. Zabi also studies the art of smish. Smish. This is a fun fight. This is the battle of the... Um, well, this is the Czech Congo, obviously, who got ransacked by Fedor. His uh, legend says some of his uh, brain matter is still embedded into the canvas, but that's okay. Um, and Gazaka, who won his fight against... Shorbukokul with like 456, 457 of the third round, so, yeah. Rather stacked for a fine night, but, you know, I was feeling it. Also, everyone who's commented, and uh, I haven't replied to them yet on the previous videos about Universe Mode, I'll get to you in a minute, I'll get to you after this, don't worry, I'll just, um, yeah, a little busy, and... I was, yeah, I was looking at uh, some of the long comments and I was kind of tired, so I thought, alright, I'll do it. Well, I've had some slip. Alright, so, someone's going out here. This isn't lasting very long. Let's just go three rounds. Look at that. Ooh, check Congo with a kickboxing off the bat. Ooh, on the knee! Um... Well, it's not really mystery anymore because I put it on my Universe My page. <laughs> um... <clears throat> But, but, but that will be a surprise. Fear not. I may do something different for that. I might. I might. All I'm saying is, stick around during the end of a pay-per-view now and again. You never know. Now this is bad for Congo. I did like the high kick off the bat though from Gonzaga. Yeah, he does that switch kick. I, it's so nice. It's roster year, it's roster exclusive, which is kind of cool, actually, because as much as I wish I could have it, it's cool that, it, I mean, it makes them more um, unique, oh, the roster fires. I do wish, I don't know why you can't uh, use leg kicks, though. Like, all, all roster careers and ros uh, and creative fires have the default leg kicks. I've no idea why you can't use unique animations, but hey, yeah, that would be cool. Well, Gonzaga's heavy on top, but Congo's obviously got a lot of muscle, so he's able to get out. Good ground and pound as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Aldo, um, Anderson Silva, Mishida, John Jones. You can't even get the obliques or the low line leg kicks with calves and Rostafars. I don't know why, but you just can't. Unless I'm absolutely blind, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Side control now. Great reversal. Just over a minute remains. Dude, I've got a fan right now, and I'm still warm. Fucking, it's boiling. Hey, lazy. You want me to call you love or lazy? Either one's fine. Yeah, that is a shame. I, I guess it does make the fighters a bit more unique, but it would be great for calves if you could um, put those on. Maybe, like, they had, like, preset moves. Ooh, tries to go for the triangle. Congo gets out of guard. Ooh, big right hand and then the knee. Uh, you could, like, pick pack preset packages of, like, fighters that have a certain, uh, like, a uh, certain 
Um, signature moves, and you could use those. Well, I like it. Benson Henderson started that trend. Fuck, he punched the legs. He didn't give a fuck. Um, I like it. Makes sense. Shuts off that leg a little bit. Really hurts. It's more effective. Especially when heavyweights throw them. Let's check out some of the action from that round. Yeah, look at this. This was that counter. Such Tries to cover the high kick, and apparently body jab can stop that. Can oh no, it's a yeah, kind of a body jab. Well I'll give UFC three a little bit of shit for being able to um um I give him a little bit of shit when uh when body shots can stop flying easy with that. Also, it helps at the end is more responsive. So, uh, what do you mean? Oh, you mean in real life you can't check them? Sorry, I thought you were talking about in-game. Right, round two. Immediately tries to cover the double unders. He gets it. Let's see if he pulls guard. Actually, I don't know if he has a pull guard. He might just have uh, a suplex. Yeah. See, I think I'm pretty sure Johnny Walker would just jump over them. The, 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 like, the, the height he can jump is actually insane. Go to search uh, Johnny Walker flying knee gif until you see the one where he's in a training room. Uh, it's actually insane. Yeah, Anderson Silva, he, like, he has some interesting techniques for getting around certain strikes, which is quite quite interesting to see. Or quite nice to see. That high kick was pretty good. Ooh, they, uh, they collide legs. We shall see. We don't know yet because uh, so we're, there's only three fights in. Well, I'm glad you all you all like Universe Mode, though, and we all um, you know, it's found a real place on the channel. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would have anyway, but you guys have taken to it very well. So, oh, nice right right high kick from Gonzaga. Oh, look at that! Conga with those boxing combos. Yeah, this is a good fight. Nice outside leg kick. Yeah, Johnny Walker is a savage. Sort of one-two. Ooh, look at that pull counter. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that left hand. Man, Congo is having a lot of uh, success. I mean, I knew he would have success on the feet, but even with his boxing. Gonzaga's uh, guest. What's Congo? There we go. To the body. It was like Paulo Fila. But was it Paulo Fila versus Chelsea? Oh, that big overhand right. To the body. High kick. What's up, Liam? And I'm feeling a little rusty. I've got to get back into that common tank. Flow. I guess it depends on the, 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 I don't know. Depends on the day sometimes. You wake up and you're not always on your best. Commentating days, but also I don't, it's one once a week, so I do sometimes get a little bit rusty, but that's okay. See if he gets this. I'm surprised. Um, Zaga was gassed. Uh, well, he yeah, he went three rounds like a Tedder series. He looked okay. Oh, I would retire if I was DC. Are you kidding me? Fuck facing that man. I'll just move to Colombia and hide out so they never find me. And here was that spectacular counter attack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang. Because I've heard Colombia is pretty cheap to live in these days. I just buy a penthouse on a mountain or something. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I feel the same lazy. lazy. Someone actually mentioned, what about Francis with if he went to Thailand, got Khalil Rantry's like Chinese and shit? Are you kidding me? I said that. that that'd be sanctioned murder. It might even be more powerful than Ubering. Yeah, best games. 
Well, Gonzaga's holding. Oh! He drops Congo with the patented high kick that he. He armbar! Knocked out fucking uh, Crow Cop with, and now he's going for the armbar! Can he get it? He's done it! He's done it! Once again, Gabriel Gonzaga pulls it off, pulls off another submission win. This man has defied the odds. Although I know Sean McCorkle, that was kind of a, you know, that was a pretty even fight, but... God damn. He was looking for that high kick all night. Started off with it and then managed to find a home for it. Uh, yeah, he's on a two-fight losing streak. Also, I was wondering, I, I was going to try and um, make calves like, decline as they age, but then that, I don't know if that would work because regular fighters are going to stay anyway, so... You can't really change their stats. Unless I, like, made every single fighter a roster fighter and or go and went through a career and it's been... Nah. You got, I don't even think you can edit those, so... He does reign supreme, Mike. What about John Jones? Maybe, yeah. Who's next? Oh boy. Oh boy, this fight's gonna be a bagger. You all ready? You'll see in a second. You're all gonna like this one. I'm pretty sure you'll like most of this card, but this one. Mmm. This is really old school versus new school. New school versus old school. Between the specialist and the two time US Olympian, Dan Henderson. One of the most decorated athletes in the history of the sport, Dan Henderson represented the USA in Greco Roman wrestling before becoming a mixed martial arts champion. Tonight, he'll be looking to use that world class grappling along with his heavy hands to add one more achievement to his impressive career. Standing across from him in the red corner is the specialist. With world-class striking skills and lethal kicks, this stand-up specialist is quick on his feet and extremely effective from the outside. He's looking to add a spectacular head kick knockout to his highlight reel tonight. Cycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now, with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California. This man is a former welterweight, middleweight, and Grand Prix champion of pride. Dan Hendo Henderson! And now, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet four inches tall. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, the specialist. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Are you ready to fight? Dan are Henderson, the specialist. 
And here we go. Dan Henderson's early training was with uh, I do apologize about the game volume it's gone down a little bit let me see if I can there we go Oh, catches the kick don't know if it's wise for Henderson to trade kicks with that eh, Sanya look at that though gets him to the ground that's where he wants to be maybe a smart bet Richard but oh he's catching those kicks very well nice to the body though oh look at that sway and then the uppercut Ooh, that right hand, dude. That right hand is just like a nuke. Push kick. Good use of distance here, Joe. Oh, flying knee. That's quick. He gets up in the air fast. Hendo's got to be. Uh, Hendo's got to be careful. He doesn't run out of gas. I know he's in his forties, but. Oh. He's like 39 in this game before you will yeah, gets to... Oh, look at this. Izzy gets him down. Side control. Let me know if I'm too loud or if I'm too close. To the microphone. Oh, that right hand would have shattered his jaw, but it is slow, so... He's got side control. Side control. That is a scary thought. Two minutes remains. Okay, now full mount. This is terrible for Adesanya. Oh, he's taking big shots. The, the, the former Olympian is... Well, I say former Olympian. He's sort of an Olympian for life, so... Ooh, tries to land that right hand. Oh, man, that chopping hook. He's having success now, is Henderson. Got, got Israel thinking about the takedown, maybe. Oh, look at that, though. You, the speed advantage goes to Israel for the power. The power of Henderson. Although, look at this. Izzy's really staying active. Oh, 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 my God. That sounded like... Yeah, that sounded powerful. It's not like he was hit with a fucking pan. Then again, I've heard um, shaking hands with Henderson is like... Like, his hands don't feel... Like, they, they feel so tough and shit. People call him a rock golem anyway, because he has no flexibility anymore. Well, he's just old and stiff, but he's got a piston in a right of a right hand. So I don't know if you watched that fight, Joe, but there was a lot of grappling. <clears throat> yep. Let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see the fight get taken to the ground. Steps right into the strikes. And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then bang. Well, that was Henderson's round, I think. I think. He had full mount damage and a couple big shots on the feet. <clears throat> yeah, this is great. The beautiful Ariana gets us set for round number two. Are you ready to fight? Are Close indeed, ready? yeah. Hey, Thomas. <clears throat> oh, look. Oh, Hendo coming out with the knee. Hey, Justin. I'll get to your comment soon, man. Oh! Is he in trouble? Henderson trying to pile on the pressure. Big right hand. Not able to drop him. Tries to go for the double unders. God, but the pressure on Israel. Can't let him get space. Oh, but look at this. Israel drops Henderson. <laughs> this is a brawl right here. Oh, big, big flying kick. Well, Hendo has got the power. Prime Hendo, anyway, had uh, has a good, has a decent chance against Israel. We'll see. He's got a fuck. He's got a good, god chin. So, ah, uh, sorry, Zep. That happens sometimes with YouTube. Oh, look at that! Catches the kick. Goes to the right hand. Israel's got to be careful. I don't think he can take much more. Look at those elbows. Oh, beautiful judo throw. He's getting hit. He's in trouble. Yep, I'm not paying for it. 
Fuck BT and their bullshit. Escaping there, moves to and back to mount again. The specialist is bleeding bad here, and this does not look good. Israel's in trouble. Israel's gassed. He's he's slowing down. Let's see if Hendo's able to work that body lock. Got him clinched up against the fence. Now this is bad for Israel. Henderson's Henderson. Here, yeah, Henderson's starting to gas as well. Let's see if he's able to. Oh, big uppercut. They're both gassed. The Olympian and the kickboxer. Really giving it. Giving it their all tonight. This is how you fight on, on the contenders here, according to Dana White. Oh, that right head kick. Ah, tries to shoot. Got a uppercut. Clips him there. But end on top again. Back to their feet. Oh, that low kick. That really stiff low kick. Oh, uppercut to end the second round. What a great fight. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty back and forth, I must say. Henderson is not going down with that fight. The old guard refuses to push over. What's up, star players? How you doing, man? The recipe is dead. I think so, yeah. Thanks for subscribing, man. Bang! That fucking back fist. Am I... Am I... Misremembering? I don't remember Hendo using back fist much. Was it... Um, hey, thank you. Uh, thanks. Uh, star players. Was it in Pride that he used them? Or maybe it was earlier UFC fights. Maybe, yeah. But then the rock from um, Hendo and the takedown, so... <clears throat> I have to give Izzy a try and go now. I think about it. Let's try to go for that again. But why wouldn't you? You know, it's working. Oh, right hand from Izzy. Izzy? Izzy! I've turned uh, northern. Um. Israel. Look at this, though. Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> they clitch up. Oh, what a throw. Side so control. Let's see if Hendo... No, no. He gets reversed. Let's see what he does on the bottom here. Let's see with those elbows. Side control. Don't think he's going to be able to get the top man, but hey, I'm wrong. So, <laughs> I am wrong sometimes. But look at this. The rolls are reversed. Those elbows. No problem, man. I'll be going for another another hour and a bit, most likely. Although these fights have been quick. Well, somewhat quick. We haven't had a single decision yet, so. Ooh, nice body shot. Open up the head, potentially. This is terrible for Henderson. Look at that. Oh, gets reversed. Not able to get that uh, that sweep, though. But he is in a better position now. Hey, no problem, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you are. Thank you. See if he gets some uh, tie, tie, tie work off here. That would be what I would say, but no. Oh, he's gassed. Well, Hendo looks to put on the pressure and finish. He's got to find an opening. Israel's a hard guy to time. He's ducking under that big right hand, but... Oh, that would have been painful if it landed. One minute to go. Let's see what Hendo does. Oh, knees in the clinch from Hendo. He's gassed. He catches that. Oh, look! High kick from Izzy! Adesanya with the high kick from the ground, from the mat! That was awesome. It is, yeah. Ten seconds to go. Shoots for the takedown. Gets him down. 
Man. I think that was... Decent fuck. Mike. Mike, go away. Yeah, that's uh, one of the couple moves you can get off the bottom, which is quite cool. I think Pettis has one. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Very nice throw here. Beautiful technique. Same, man. And here was that spectacular counterattack. Dodges that incoming strike and then... <laughs> Remember he did the Rolling Thunder against Here's Michael Bisping in the second fight. Down. Yeah, played again. It's uh, becoming common, <laughs> weirdly. Yeah, uh, uh, relegated back to Pride. So, goodbye, Hendo. Right, I'm going to close my eyes. Let's see what they say. Okay, it's 29-28. Majority decisions do exist, but they're rare. Henderson pulls it off. The old guard remains. Um, remains, well, I say on top, on top of, uh, well, he's obviously not on top of the division, but I was trying to say something there, but it, it evaded me, that's okay. But he's holding fast, he's not, not getting, he's not letting himself get walk, walk, walked over. Yeah, I think so, yeah, sure. Okay, who's ready? To rumble. Had to look at the card to make sure I was right there. I'm not sure. I don't recall that, but I mean, he doesn't really. I, I mean, it won't blow blow him. He's got. He knows how to fight. He's got. He's got a pissed in a right hand. I mean, you know, at that age as well. Want to save your body, but you can. It's a welterweight matchup between heavy-handed athletic Anthony Johnson and the American Mike Swift. Mike Swick ended his first four UFC fights in the very first round and earned the nickname Quick. Focused and determined, this dangerous striker will try to recreate that momentum tonight with an early knockout. One of the most powerful athletes in the division, Anthony Rumble Johnson has the ability to control a fight with his wrestling and knock out any opponent with his hands or his feet. Energy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California. Mike Mick Swift! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet two inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California. Anthony Rumble! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight started. Mike Swick, Anthony Johnson. And here we go. You know, I, uh, a few people I saw used to call Rumble Crumble, which I thought was quite funny. Yeah, Mike Swick is dynamic. Anthony Crumble Johnson. As soon as he catches guys, he yep. with a flurry of punches so Let's fast. see how he did. Well, that's exactly how you deal with Rumble. So immediately Swick is on the right path. But that, you know, on Rumble ground and pound? Yeah, not fun. Side control. And back to 
full guard. Side control again. Oh boy. Full mount. <clears throat> this is on the top of the list of places you don't want to be in life. Nice right hand. Look at this. He's... Well, he, has, he only landed one strike so far, but let's see if he can land some more. Oh my god. That shit shakes the screw with how powerful it is. Again. Oh my god. That is actually so powerful. So Rumble does off his back. Reverses. Gets reversed himself though. That, Mike Swig does no damage to him. Top mount for Swick though. Top mount. He's landing shots. Oh, nice reverse. Top man again. But it gets reversed. Back to their feet. Okay. Spinning back kick against Rumble. Don't know if that's the smartest idea. Especially if he times you off of it. That chopping hook. Ooh. Well, you know what? He's time. He's getting getting it off quite well. Mike is very much the more technical fighter, but Rumble is just brute force. Good first round. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. Yeah. If I've got enough time, like if there's um, I've got to go at 7 p.m. and it's five right now. So if there is no, it's uh, Kevin Mulhall. If there is like an hour or so to go, I might um, I might stream something else. Maybe I'll try a PC game because I can stream PC games now for what it's worth. Although I've got to figure out how to. Um, you know, tweak a couple things on that before I go live publicly. But I mean, are you actually telling Rumble that his opponent is more tired than him? Come on now, that's just false. I get hyping a fire up, but <clears throat> the most impressive cardio I've ever seen from Rumble was against Phil Davis. That was three rounds. Nice body knee, but misses, but the counter. Oh, high kick from Swig. Shoots him, will he get it? Nope. Yeah, that was really good. I mean, you look at what Corby did, so... That would be cool, yeah. But I guess at least they exist in this form of um, in the form of cuts. They are quite rare, though. Very rare. But I like that they're very rare. Ooh. That back is really keeping um, Rumble at range. Oh, they... Try to go and trade right hands, but that's not a good idea against Rumble. That'll put you six feet under fairly quickly. Nice little step in jab. Yeah. Ooh. I think we've seen like one Doctor Doctor Break, like not Doctor Break, but you know, not not an actual Doctor Stoppage, but the ref stops it to get the Doctor in. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Rumble's in trouble. 
Big shots from Mike Swick. Look at to finish it. Rubble survives. Like head, body, head jab, and then the high kick. Oh, that was nasty. Mike Quick Swick living up to his nickname right here. Look at this rumble in uh, half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Oh, we got reversed. I think this is going to be one-one. Oh, definitely going to be one-one going into the third round. God damn! I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. All you need to do is work. You score with that take You score be there. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. All right? Well, I mean, that corner advice is pretty accurate. As in, I mean, Rumble is, is he's actually not bad technically, but Mike Swick I would give the technical advantage to, but I mean, that power. Oh my god. Almost knocked him out on the way down. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Britney. Third round. Oh, immediately knocks Mike Swick down. And he taunts him. Look at this. This is this is heating up very nicely. Sorry if I was too loud. It's just uh, I moved my mic a little bit and i got to get used to it a little bit. Sometimes the distance. Because there's a fan on, so I want to keep it a little closer. I don't know how he's alive. Science. Must be a cybernetic. Oh, must be cybernetic, yeah, cybernetic, yeah. Let's see if he lands this. Oh, big knee. All right, cool, thanks. Oh, tries to go for the Kimura. As we know, submissions. Rumble's weaknesses, especially rear necker chokes. Koscheck got him, Rumble got him, Cormier got him twice. Full guard. Oh. If I was Mike Swick, I would be holding on for dear life, trying to get submissions. Now, this is terrible. Mike Swift's got to get out of there. There we go. Good, good, uh, good hip escape. Side control again. Oh, he's landing to the body and then to the head. Mike Swift on top. Back to their feet. Oh, big right hand from Rumble. Feels like one shot is going to be the end here. Oh, look at nice shot. But Rumble sprawls. Comes back with the right. Oh, Trusco for a high kick. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was a double rock. No. Uh, Max Swick down. Rubble, look at the finish. Is this going to be it? That's holy shit. Three punches is all it took. What? This man has insane power. I mean, we already know, but well, we already knew, but goddamn. Mike Swick is not an easy guy to finish. Somehow, Rumble comes back from being half dead. <laughs> and just hammered him into submission. Look at it from this angle. Mike Swick is done. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for coming by. That's got that or the Izzy fight is fight That's tonight. The official decision. Ladies and gentlemen. Referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, eleven seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by TKO Anthony Rumble. Hey, Rowdy TJ. Anthony Johnson earns another UFC win. Respect. That was a war, yeah. Oh, wow. That was enough. That much damage. Although there was just a round, so he might have recovered during the round and then just smashed. I mean, he, I mean, I guess he must do a lot of damage per punch. 
for that much of a difference in damage. Uh, ooh, this is going to be a good fight. And then we've got the co-main event. This is one of the quickest cards in recent memory, I can... Or oh, that I can think of. Fight of the night, yeah, I think so. Got to be up there. between the Ultimate Fighter Season 1 middleweight winner, Diego the Dream Sanchez, and Charles Oliveira. An aggressive fighter who rarely leaves the outcome in the hands of the judges, Charles Oliveira is known for ending his fights early with both his fists and his submissions. An intense and aggressive competitor, Diego the Dream Sanchez is hoping to use his wrestling skills and non-stop offense to bulldoze over another opponent and claim yet another octagon victory. Store. The sport lives here. And now, with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Charles Dobrox Oliveira! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Diego the Dream! Sanchez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round Go. one is about Ready? to begin. Charles Ready? Oliveira, Diego Sanchez. And here we go. Right, Sanchez Oliveira. Yeah, Red Thor was pretty good. Oh, look at that jab animation from uh, Oliveira there. Oh, big right hand. Diego. Oh. Don't know if you want to take down um, Oliveira. Man's got some incredible submissions. Last push kick. See if uh, well, Oliver is obviously going to try and use that Muay Thai. Scrolls. I would give maybe the boxing advantage to Diego and the wrestling advantage, but besides that, it's a tough fight. Oh, look at that! Got a flying knee. Doesn't land, but. <laughs> They've had the same three refs since fucking UFC 1. It's disappointing. Ooh. They didn't even have Big Joy in UFC 2. For whatever reason. Ooh, nice to the body and then to the head. Look at this. Oliveira gets dropped. See what he does off his back. Back to the feet. Oh, look at that. Time to the jab with the uppercut. Oh, man. Diego is punishing Oliveira in the bo in boxing range. But otherwise, it's you know, Oliveira's doing well. Wow, Oliveira. Diego gets past the guard. Oliveira on top. 
Nice. Rubber guard for um for Diego. Yeah. Don't be surprised to see him try and catch us or punch for a submission. Good shots from side control. Oh, hey, oh, nice body knee. He's landing. Really roughing uh, Oliveira up. I think they're starting to slow down a little bit. That was a great first round. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. Oh. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. If I do, um, if I do continue the stream with something else, should I like if I? Yeah, if I stream something, if this ends quick enough, if I stream something for like a little bit, should I? If it's still on UD3, should I start a new stream or just keep going with this one? And then like add it to the tile. Either or is fine. That's fucking Greg Jackson with Ray Longo's voice. That's okay. Ready? We are set for the start of round number two. Here we go. Oh, nice push kick. Diego's had that a couple of times. He has he's just not really reached the legs, but this time he does. Not able to get it though. Yeah, they have mismatched. I mean, it's real corner cool radio, so it's yeah, they don't know what, they don't have all the coaches, so. And the shorter, more effective punches are getting there first. But Oliveira's gotta be careful with those hooks. They're all oh, top mountain for Oliveira. Reverses that. He's gotta be careful with those hooks though, because uh Diego was timing it with the uh upper cast on. Back on top is uh, Diego. He's really grinding out a win here. I'm surprised. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Catch! Punch off the cage to a armbar. I don't think he's going to get it, though. No. Oh, Oliveira with the slam. Side control. That was unexpected. I had no idea Diego even had that. I'm surprised we haven't seen Oliveira try to throw up some submissions. I really am. Oh, Oliveira. Oliveira's hurt. Catches that. There he goes. Diego was landing bombs there. And there he goes again. Big shots. Oliveira's covering up. See if he's able to reverse him or does he get? Yep, he gets. Oh, catches that. Half guard, okay. But back to side control. I am surprised that Oliveira's lack of lack of submissions really. This is only the second round. I swear this is the third. Never mind. No, I guess second. Yeah. Oh yeah, this might be it. Oh look at that! He catches it. Man, Oliveira with the heart. He refuses to go down. Go out, rather. Back to their feet. Try to get Ty Clinch. That was a bit of a late throw, but hey. When a fighter gets dominated like that, what does he need to do to come back? When you're behind the scorecards, you have to change up the game. That might have been a 10 out for Diego. This is where good advice from your corner can make all the difference. I knew, and even though this is all rules, that was still pretty 10 80. You know what I mean? Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan. Right? Throwing that Superman punch 
so we don't need that bullshit. The end's yeah. Like, let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. Here I like how the ref changes their stance when they're rocked as well. <laughs> and then he just casually walks all around his head. This is that's Mazagati level of casual stroll. And this is that ground and pound pure domination right there. Solid action in that round, Mike. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. I think Oliveira definitely needs to finish. But he's really hurt. We'll see what he comes out with. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. <laughs> um, Oliveira's getting time with those uppercuts. But look at that. He comes back with his own. And he's starting to maybe perhaps incorporate a difference. Well, he's starting to um, change up that boxing and Muay Thai a little bit to adjust for the... Well, just for getting caught, but... He's taking damage. Man, Oliveira really struggling with the wrestling and pressure of Sanchez. Now he's on top. Tries to line his own elbows. Side control. Can he get top mount? Nope. We still haven't seen a submission out of Oliveira. Which is very surprising to me. Oh, this might be it. He's taking big damage. This is it. Yep, that's over. But it's over. Maybe they're just the inexperience for Oliveira. But... Sanchez gets it done. Oh, man, he is. Yeah, Oliveira is still does. You know, he's he's in a, he's in bad shape. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Watch it again. And here's how he finishes him off. Just picture perfect ground and pound from the side control. Yeah, that was like four rocks or something. That was crazy. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Is that the UFC logo with like Pride Incorporated into it? It kind of looks like the Pride Lightning Bolt. Declaring the winner by On the Oliver shirt. For the first two games, Bruce Buffer wasn't even in the octagon for announcing the fights. Announcing the winner. Actually, oh yeah, he is there. Three, yeah. He's checked. Man, 100% head damage. That was... That was tough. Okay, now we get to the co-main event, which is exciting. Uh, so the end of the year in the universe mode, which is 12 pay-per-views and 12 fight nights, uh, the either the last, yeah, I think the 13th card will be a Pride uh, card, end of the year card. between Frank Mir and the King. Fighting out of the blue corner is the King, a truly dominant clinch fighter with a strength advantage over nearly any man in the division. This aggressive warrior is looking to muscle his way to an octagon victory tonight. 
A jiu-jitsu specialist and former UFC champion, Frank Mir came back from a devastating motorcycle accident to reestablish himself as a force in the heavyweight division. Tonight, once again in the octagon, he'll be looking to showcase his dangerous arsenal of strikes and submissions. Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 225 pounds, fighting out of Moscow, Russia, the King. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Frank B. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Are you ready? Are you ready? The King, Frank Mir. Co-main event, Frank Mir, Fedor Emelianenko. Let's see how this pans out. Of course, Frank Mir had that incredible intercept knee KO against Brock Lesnar. High kick for Frank. Oh, wow. Uh, Frank has gassed already. Fedor, that right hand, and then the beautiful takedown. Got to be careful about playing in the guard, though, with Frank. See how that went in real life with him, for Doom. Although that wasn't prime Fedor anymore. Great job on the reversal. Moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. Side control. And into full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushing his opponent away. And he lets him back up. Oh, oh, nice left hook from Fedor. And the ball oh, on the right. He's landing. Oh, okay. Got to fix that all night. They trade uppercuts. I'll go back and forth on uppercuts. I'll, uh, I'll put the cable in after this. Gets him down again. Oh, wow. Frank catches that. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. And back to full guard. Oh, nice. Fakes that. That is doing good on top. Oh, reversal. Oh, he tried to escape. Controlling the top position. Not able to get that. This time he can. <laughs> he gets a takedown. Side control. Nicely done. That's actually just the um that was an accidental graphic uh, from the, the, the guys in the truck. You know, their, their equipment. Uh they had to take a wireless wireless equipment this time, so you know it's getting a little low on battery. And uh, it accidentally shows up on the on the screen. That'll be fixed, don't worry. See, there's a reason for everything. Oh, well, that was weird. Yeah, production truck. What are you doing, guys? <laughs> oh. Frank Mir with the tie clinch. Not bad. Not, oh, I don't even have it plugged in. No, I don't have my USB plugged in. But that's okay. This will last till the main event. That's one of those rounds that makes me glad I'm not a judge, Mike. Some good offense from both sides, but neither really did... That's a big cut on Fedor's eyebrow. I don't know about that when it's heavyweight, but... Technically, yes, if you win two rounds, you know. 
at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip a beautiful. and counter, and a punishing counter right here. You can see. Is it me? It looks like Frank um, held that. Uh, that hook for a while. Fast takedown, amazing wrestling technique, solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Dude, Frank is so jacked in this game. His traps are massive. But this is also TRT Mia, so you know. Set for round two. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Played on moving towards the power hand of Mir, but... Oh, they sort of trade shots right there. Body shot and then... And then the, or the hook. I guess the hook first and then the body shot. Oh, nice little step out of range there. That's what Fedor does. Oh, ho, ho, tries to get the throw. Is he able to? Let's see. They're really resting for the, the underhooks there. Tries to get the, the buster. This time he gets it into half guard. The fader reverses. Ooh. Hooks against the cage. Not fun. And Fedor responds with a big punch from side control. And back and forth here on the ground. A couple of big shots from Frank. Oh, armbar! Armbar for Frank! Let's see if Fedor can escape. This is... This is tight. This is going to be it. Oh, he almost escaped. Frank again gets another win and really secures his spot at the top of the heavyweight division. Official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Frank Mir. Frank Mir wins inside the octagon. Yeah, who knows, man? Who knows? All right, so main event coming out. Uh, it's Korean Zombie versus Chad Mendes. Should be an absolute banger. Uh, it has... He might have said Frank Fear. Who knows? Um, very tight implications here. The winner will get your our favor. So let's see how it plays out. Song Jung and Chad Mendez. A wrestler who came into the UFC with an undefeated MMA record 
Chad Mendez has proven to be a dominant performer in the featherweight division. With impressive submission skills and dangerous ground and pound, he'll be looking to make an impact in the octagon tonight. A natural submission artist, the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung, is better known to fight fans for his ability to take a punch. Energy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet six inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California. Chad Money Mendez. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea. The Korean zombie, Chan Song Jong. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Chad Mendez, Chan Sung Jung. Hey, what's up, Fight Queen? How you doing? Uh, yeah, TRT VTOL would be done. I might. I mean, there is still state commission testing in this, so hey, maybe I'll. Uh, maybe. Well, I say maybe I'll pop some people. Maybe some people will pop. Who knows? Oh, nice little uh, left hook and then the chopping hook combo. Step and jab. Hey, no problem. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Don't feel obliged or anything, you know. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. And plus, look up as VODs after anyway, so even if you can't make it live, it's fine. Oh, nice. I like the boxing from uh, Chad Mendes. Oh, Korean oh, zombie response. Zombies, uh. He's got to be careful. I mean, he's he's got he's he's got one hell of a chin, but can't take too many bombs from Mendes. Sort of going, they're going back and forth here. Yeah. Nice. Low kick. Mendes on top. Such an incredible wrestling from Mendes. Could be interesting to see what Korean Zombie does on the ground. You would think he wouldn't have. I mean, he'd. You think you want to keep it on the feet where he has the advantage, but um, so far not playing out that way. Who knows? Well, soon enough. Meaning, and Garnu fought. Well, he fought. I don't know about recently, but. Oh, nice. You'd be surprised in universe mode. You know, Spirit 3 in general. Oh, I'm liking that ground and pound from uh, KZ here. Gets reversed. Mendez reverses himself, getting, gets into half guard. Now they're back. Ooh, top man for Mendes. Now postured up. Oh, lands a big left hook. And a right hand. Korean Zombie's in trouble. But he manages to reverse him. Ooh, look at 
it catches. That was very nice. And the horn sounds. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Striking, grappling, you name it. That is a round that MMA fans will be talking about for quite some time. It is illegal. It's illegal. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to put this to live chat. This was well Not bad. Timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. This is probably going to finish with some time to go before seven, so I might just do a title mode while I'm here. I'll just put it on. Uh, I'll just add it on to the. Uh, the stream tile. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Here we go, round two. Come on, let's do it. He shoots. Yeah. Uh, KZ sprawls. Oh, throws a kick, but he might get taken down off that. Yeah. Can't throw kicks against wrestlers unless, unless you really have the takedown defense, a la Jose Aldo. Oh, top mount for Mendes. Again. This is terrible for Korean Zombie. He's taking big shots. Mendez can smell the victory. Don't think it's going to take too many more... Oh, arm triangle! Arm triangle! Oh, that was slightly tight to begin with, but... Zombie escapes. Transition to half guard. Will he get to full mount? Or will he decide to settle in half guard, do some damage? Full guard Back here. to full guard. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. See if he lands a couple of shots here, He's not able to. Guard. Ooh, tries to use the cage, but Mendes. Yeah, true, true. Ooh. Man, he's really landing big shots here. Look at that reversal. Scoots under. Gets him down. See what the zombie does. Will he stand up or will he try to pass guard? And we'll reverse him there. Side control. This is much better for... Uh, it was for a second until... Well, then again, it's good again. <laughs> Look at this top mount for Korean Zombie. This is going to go to a third round, I think. See if. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, Zombie landing shots. Revenge for uh, big shots that Mendes landed, potentially. Man, Korean Zombie is busted up. He's taking damage. I mean, he's got he's got cuts. He's bruised. He's bloody. Meanwhile, Chad Mendes has got like a small mouse under the the left eye. Still, they show the replay. replay of that round, Mike. The takedown, yeah. The fight, get taken to the ground, step <laughs> right into the strike. That's um. And this is that picture perfect. That's display. a good example, that's actually. A, a good analogy. <clears throat> and here we see some really decent takedown defense, making it tough to finish that. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. We've got to hope his eye doesn't shut up. His other eye. There's the beautiful Britney. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? I do find it funny that fighters can actually fight blind in this game. <laughs> Here we go. Round With no real decrease, uh, no real decline in effectiveness, but hey, it's a video game. <laughs> you 
Ooh, Chad shoots again. Will he get him down? No. Good, uh, good sprawl from Mendes. Oh, good one from Korean Zombie, but it's caught an overhand right. Ooh, to the body. Well, I'm, I'm liking Zombie's boxing combos, but Mendes has just got that power. Especially in close. And then he shoots. He really, like, that overhand right gets set up by those takedowns. The threat of the takedown catches you off guard. Reverses, can he get him down? Yep. See if he's able to advance the full mount or if Korean Zombie reverses him back to their feet. Oh, nice little step out of range there. Catches that. Try to shoot again. This time Korean Zombie sprawls. Oh, big shot. You could just hear it. The thud. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Oh, wow. Runs in with the overhand right, but tries to land the high kick. Gets a little bit too uh, ambitious. Not able to land that. Gets caught. And he's countered. Well, let's see if he lands some big shots off there. Oh, big uppercut. And then the right hand from KZ. This is a banger. I mean, I'm pretty sure Mendes is winning this, but... Great fight. Now, but then again, top mount for, for Korean Zombie. Who knows? Anything could happen. There's a minute left. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Oh, I think this is going to be it. Unless, unless Menez lands a big shot and rocks him. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, tries to come over the big overhand right. Gets him down. Yeah, that's uh, that's Menez's fight, I'm pretty sure. 30-27. Mostly because of the rocks. I will be apps. I mean, there must be fucking three Adelaide birds if this fight goes to KZ. And then a fourth. Just for the hell of it. And the fucking Cecil Peoples or Cecil Peoples. One of the worst judges of all. Well, I say one of the worst. I mean, he's still not as bad as Adelaide Bird, but he was bad. And here we see another solid counter after slipping the incoming shot. Ooh. Nice. No, I mean, KZ was effective on the feet for sure. Now, I always close my eyes when it's just has come about, so because they show you on the screen beforehand. Um, so I always close my eyes and just listen. Okay, that's got to be Mendez. Got to be Mendez. Whoa! Okay, I thought it said Ch uh, I thought it said Chen Sang Jung. I was about to go. What the fuck? Okay, they caught me off guard for a second there. Thirty twenty seven Mendes. Okay, that's fair. Well, the card is over. Um. Yeah, we had some absolute bangers. Kind of a quick card as well, only an hour and a half today. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Close fight. I mean, um, Korean Zombie just didn't... He struggled in boxing range and clinch range. Mendes with that big right hand and the wrestling to set it up. <laughs> yeah, that would have been uh, ridiculous. I think, I think, I think uh, the UFC would have actually overturned that unofficially. Yep, Faber versus Mendes, so we'll be seeing some uh, some storylines evolve there, because obviously they're teammates right now. They won't be after, like, tomorrow or whatever. But that's the that's the beauty of the uh, universe mode. You can make up what you, you do. You make up everything. Let's see what they said far the night was.
Team Alpha Male versus Team American Muscle? I don't know. Uh, no, no, no. I usually... As Dana says, I don't really make fights the night of the fight, so to speak. I usually make them um, sometimes during the week. They're every Sunday, either 4pm or 7pm. Greenwich, meantime. Is it British? I'll get confused at the time zone sometimes. Ha ha ha! No knockout of the night, huh? That was a great fight indeed, yeah. Dwayne, Lud Dwayne Ludwig's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Coming to a fight camp near you. Hey guys, want to miss weight? That, oh yeah, that was Paulo Thiago's Kimura. I'm surprised it isn't me, but... I wonder what weighs it. Maybe it's random. There's got to be some logic to it, right? That was a good submission, though. For sure. showed why it's the fastest growing sport in the world as we witnessed some incredible fights for my partner joe rogan and all of us at the ultimate fighting championship mike goldberg saying so long until next time we see you right back here inside the octagon I agree, yeah. Right, so there will be spoilers, so if you don't wanna if you don't wanna see if you don't wanna see the fights, then I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, obviously well I was gonna say the main event, we'll get back, we'll get to that. So the card started off, Eddie Wineland taking it to Mighty Mouse, gets a TKO using his superior or his size really, especially in the grappling uh, grappling situations of just really overpowered DJ and Sent him to the Shadow Realm. Sort of. Halfway there. As we saw, Paulo Thiago submits Stun Gun, Donkey and Kim, in what was kind of a back and forth fight. Also, Paulo Thiago has fucking huge ears, I've just realised. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Gonzaga submits Czech Congo in somewhat of an unexpected outcome, but good fight. Israel Adesanya gets, uh, is defeated by the old guard, Dan Henderson. It is surprising, yeah, especially by Eddie Wilder. But Hendo, even at 41, holds on. <laughs> Don't worry. Anthony Johnson versus Mike Swick. That was one hell of a fight. Fight of the night for sure. Du Bronx Oliveira just isn't able to just isn't able to get it done against Sanchez. Took so much damage, really. That just had to be stopped. Frank Mir submits the GOAT, Fedor Emelianenko, in round two. Maybe somewhat unexpected. I mean, Fedor was kind of close to getting out, but... Frank snatched that arm and took it home with him. Yeah, great card. Great card, yeah. Thanks for coming by, everyone. And then in the main event, Chad Mendes takes the decision over the Korean zombie, Chan Sun Jung. And he will be next in line to face the champion, Uriah Faber. So... We shall see how that plays out when the time comes. Okay, so well, now that we've got some time, I'm going to add to the title. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a, um, what is it? A fucking a title mode, I think. I don't know. I think you know. What, actually, wait, just to see. I always do it. I'll check to see if someone's online. They they probably are, but fuck. Hey, on the off chance that someone actually is. I mean, there's a couple of people playing now and again. I don't know if they're playing online, though. Why don't we have a look? I doubt it, but hey. Doesn't hurt to check, right? Uh, 
Uh, let me go here. I'll be amazed if anyone's playing this. Yeah, these are just uh, these are the player match servers. These are peer to peer, so they don't actually need servers, which is nice. No, no one's uh, playing, obviously. I'll set that up soon, though. Uh, no, don't know yet. Don't know yet. But stick around, maybe to the end of the car. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, we'll see. Uh, one of the pay-per-views, I think, will have something at the end. So we'll f I'll figure it out when uh, that when the time comes. That doesn't work, but I just do it to get to the menu. It's quicker. Um, hmm. I guess title mode or title defense. Which one? What, what should we do? Title mode or title defense? I don't know if title defense for all fighters, but I'm for few. Just for a little bit until uh, 7 p.m., which is about an hour and 10 minutes away. So, either or, we can do. I could just do Tartar Mode and then take a fire into Tartar Defense. Okay, Tartar Defense. Okay, mm. Well, okay. Uh, Tartar Mode and then work your way up to Tartar Defense? Okay. We'll do that. Actually, before I do that, though, let me, um, let me up a certain fighter's stats. Specifically, the African Demigod. Uh, let me actually edit my video title real quick. Thank you. Okay. Save that tile. There we go. Right. Show all calves. Where are you? There you are. That is the right one, right? Yeah. Got to be 99 power, I mean. It's up to speed a little bit as well. Uh, where's the ground and pound? So up that. There we go. Okay. And you know what? While I'm here. Let's see, have I up? There you go, all level three. That's what I'm talking about right there. No, he get he's a little darker in the fight. I mean, he's pretty. He's dark enough. Might be on monitor brightness, but he's pretty dark. You know what? Maybe I'll make actually. Yeah, maybe I will make him a tiny bit darker. Actually, now you mention it, maybe a little bit. Should I adjust his face a little bit? You know what? Let me do a little bit of adjustment here. Uh... Okay. Let's see. Uh, might adjust his face a little bit. Let's have a look. Right. Can I find a good picture? Hello, hello. What is it? There we go. It's, it's Mr. Ingarno. Admittedly with the dreadlocks, but still. Okay, right. Uh, oh, 
Hard to find a decent picture of uh, Ngannou's face. By the way, let me check the stream. Sorry. Uh, it is it is huge. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really up the actual face size. Um, you although you can increase the head you can increase the head shape somewhat. Uh, let me. That is a good point. Um, I really need to find a side profile of him. Uh, here it is one. Against JDS. Okay, right. What have we got here? Uh, let's see. Alright, let me go here. Make a new tab. That's too small. Hold on. Shall I maybe up... Mm, I don't know if I should up the width. No, I'm going to leave the width that it is. The width is fine. Upper head width. Yeah. I just wish I could make the face bigger, but... Hard to do. What about... Uh... I mean, this calf came from MMA fighting. Oh, uh, not MMA fighting. Fucking MMA calf. They did a good job. They did a good job. Sorry if I'm a little late on chat because I'm trying to. I mean, this is actually this is a pretty good calf to be to be honest to begin with. Uh, there we go. Potentially, no. It is a good picture. Okay. Right. Let me. Let me. Okay. Here's all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Give him more cheek. Reduce the jaw a tiny bit, actually. Um. A bit more chin. A little bit, maybe. What about his cheekbones? Let's see. Yeah, maybe a little bit less. They are quite prominent. There we go. That's looking uh, pretty good. What about the eyes? I have an image here. Uh, yeah, there's one of them. I did have, hold on, I mean, that's one of them. Well, I can't find the image I had, which is a shame, because it's pretty good. What I was trying to look at. Oh, well. Weird. Oh, actually, this one might work. There we go. I'm finding them. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, that's a, that's a great, great picture. Okay. Well, let me. Okay. Well, let me go then. Let me go nose. Actually, it's already. Yeah, it's already as far down as it'll go. I do want to adjust the eyes a little bit there. Maybe. Slightly. Le oh, they're already. They already have less. Really? Okay, well, maybe slightly more open then. What was they at before? 12, let's go 16, potentially. Eh. 
14. Maybe? Yeah, I don't mind that. I think we'll just go with that for now. There isn't really a ton else you can do in terms of um, head shape. So, I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs> he is in the game, yeah, Melvin Goddard, yeah. I haven't played this game in quite a while, and I'm very excited to. Actually, what about this? I could do Ingarner, or I could use Tyson Fury. Either one. I mean, I don't mind. The Fury one would be interesting because you really can't really you can't you can't take you can't go to the ground. What do we think? Okay, here we go. Uh, he's a hard guy to make, if I'm honest. But okay, forty-six overall, extremely good boxer, and uh, yeah, nothing on the ground. But that's I gave him good ground striking, purely because of strength. And if you don't have high, gra uh, gr high grind skill, uh, high ground skill, high ground skills, he just does no damage, even though he has high strength. So, oh, I had Francis Agana tile mode. Let me change that tile. My bad, people. That was the initial plan, to be fair. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Sorry if you hear a fan in the background. It's fucking hot in the UK and Ireland. At least I. Not as hot as it was the other day, but it's still pretty damn warm. So I've got a fan on so I don't start melting. Right, let's see if we can clear top mode in an hour. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Gabriel Nepal Gonzaga <laughs> and Oh, I wish that'd be funny. Oh, I should have given the uh, the howling. No, actually, to be honest. Um... I would have given him the Howling Rampage one, just for a laugh, uh, if we were going with that, but I'll try to make his things as accurate as possible. Okay. Got to remember, hands only. Let me actually adjust my mic, because it's good for, for watching, or for watching, but for playing it's a little difficult, so... There we go, I need, a, I need to be able to see a bit more. God damn, you can actually make him 6-8 as well. Flicker stance is perfect. Oh. It feels weird to play it play. Dude, is that he's so big. Oh yeah, I didn't finish his trunks yet, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Thanks, man. Oh. This sport, this sport looks different depending on the stance, I guess. Hey, thanks, man. Ooh. What an onslaught of attack here. Oh, man. This feels so nice. Cool. Have fun. Oh, man. Gonzaga is cut open bad now, Mike. Oh. Oh, got caught with that. Got caught with that one. Nice push kick. Oh, he's hurt. Here we go. Oh yeah, destruct. Oh my god. Holy shit. That is terrifying. And and he's protesting. Don't think he wants to protest that one. 
we see it one more time. Look at it from this angle. That ref got in there quick. Yeah, I might as well just skip the celebrations because it's uh, Tyson Fury. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, <clears throat> has the official decision. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two yep. minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tyson the King. You can at least get Tyson the King, the so. Hey. hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. I tried. Hope we get a grappler. Oh god, Pat Barry, I'm sorry, son. Retire, boy. Please. Escape the fury. It's going to be a short night if it's Pat Barry. That's Rothwell, okay. Our tale of the tank is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon. Harley Davidson. The King. Striker. Ben Rothwell. And here we go. Joe, what are your thoughts on the King coming into the octagon tonight? Ha. He's coming off a big win in his last appearance. Yeah, I think he has a real good oh. chance of making it two in a row if he fights as well as he did the last time. Got to get out of the way of that clinch. Oh, man, ducking under that. Yeah, look at that feigning a kick. Oh. Look at it, he's trying to go, he's going, really trying to go toe to toe with Fury. Nice little left hook. Oh, missed that one. Go to the body. Good kick to the I'm surprised he hasn't actually kicked more, but I guess it is Ben Rothwell. Get out of range. What an exchange here. Uppercut. See if we can get some uh, some head movement going. You can't stop abuse the AR by flicking the head movement. It it's funny. Oh, I tried to go for a straight, but it didn't land. It didn't come out. Ow! This has gone way too long. Time to die, Ben. Ow! Oh god! Oh dear! This is a problem. Okay, we got up. Somehow. We're brawling. Oh! Oh god! No! 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 Oh, I sprawled. He's hurt. He's hurt. Saved by the fucking bell. He was so done if there was like two more seconds. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. I think a few more seconds and it would have been over. Yeah, 
Th that ground and power from Tyson is actually terrifying. This was a beautiful counter. Yeah, he was almost done. Yeah, yeah, fight night's happened. This is after. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class. Just trying to fill the time for an hour. Here's that stunning counter punch. So well timed. I thought I'd use my Fury Cow. That ain't even hit him, but I guess it's so powerful. The air. The air, like the force of the air. Bang. Uh, well, maybe. As we get set for round two. I was thinking about that, actually. Me and Jones were talking about it, potentially. Because he has a background in more time resting as well. So. Round two. Let's go, guys. Fight. I'm going to throw a little paltry kick as Tyson. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, look at that. Nice right hand. Oh, he recovers. Pushing there we go. Away. He lets him up. I'm going to knock him out with an uppercut. Actually, let's do some rope of dope. Nice body shot and then hook combination. This is not working as well as it did in the Schwartz fight, but hey. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Rothwell is bleeding here. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. He fucking crumpled, dude. He crumpled. That is terrifying. Yeah, that he's... Uh, the coroner's coming in the cage now. Perfect accuracy. Bang. Dude. Dude. He was separated from his consciousness. Wow, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fury is fun. Can we see it again? Close up. Bang. Yeah, he's dead. Let's go out in Georgia. Game over. I'm surprised he's standing out. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout. What up for a new fight game or UFC4? UFC4. The kick. The kick. Right, we're either going to get Pat Barry or Chet Colger. Shit, if we run into Kane, that might be a problem. Because there's no way I can defend a takedown from Kane. He's got like 13 takedown defense. <laughs> I, only gave him a I, I didn't give him one just because, you know, he's been training. This is, he's been training MMA for a little bit, so, you know, he's got a uh, like, very minor, minor, minor grappling. But nothing, like, yeah. Okay, Pat Barry's now going to the Shadow Realm. Our tale of the day is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Oh my god, I threw a six foot fucking eight versus five eleven. Are you kidding me? And here this we is go. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the king? Oh he's won both his last matchups and comes in here with a lot of momentum. Absolutely, and when a guy like this starts to build up confidence, come on. Oh, look at that. Look for him to come out. Oh, I mean, he's got kicks, so he's a little, he's kind of dangerous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. But I, I do know the timings of their reversals, at least, so. Oh. 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 oh my god. Oh my, I'm sorry. 
All right, we are gassed a little, but that's okay. The crowd showing their support for Pat Barry. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Hit me, fool. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Looks like Barry's cut here, Mike. Oh, See, Tyson just eats. He's good. He, I mean, he's fine. He can eat shots all day. Oh, goodbye. Oh, he recovers. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, thought I was about to kill him. Oh, but he ate a left hand. I really want to land that, like, duck, get out. Oh, I really want to land like, get in, get out. Oh. the same spot that cut has really opened up now Mike oh nice left and a right Barry is gassing here Mike oh yeah game over oh, Ooh, to the body, body shot. oh big left hook oh my goodness okay Pat Barry is the victim number two yeah I love the feints Dude, he's, he might actually be dead. Seriously, what the fuck? He's not even moving. He's not even twitching. He's gone. He's gone. Let's take a look at the timing again. I mean, he just sets that up perfect. Crank. That's like Shane Carwin against everyone. Like Shane Wellish, Gonzaga, but like to a bigger degree. And the lights go out in Georgia. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's like a fucking small, medium, large with uh, Pat Barry, Mergliotta, and Fury. The king getting it done. The gypsy king. Your big dosser, as he likes to say. Okay, Struve, JDS. Ro Roy fucking Nelson. Come on. Would you like some mesh with Zed? Fury. Hmm. I don't know if he would. He actually watches MMA, but he's not a fan of the grappling. I get it. He's a boxer. They probably wouldn't. Although Loma. Loma might, I mean. You know. Dude, could you imagine if UFC made, like, put a kickboxing, like Bellator kickboxing, UFC kickboxing? That would be awesome. He does, yeah, Muay Thai and wrestling. And he's still that good at boxing. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get the intros. Sweet. The king set to enter the world famous octagon once again. He's a very tall fighter, and that gives him an obvious reach advantage when the fight is on its feet. When he keeps a guy at the end of his jab, it turns into a very one-sided fight. Those long limbs are extremely useful when setting up submissions as well. Um, um, Joe, have you forgot who you're talking about? Yes, I'm sure we're going to be seeing Tyson Fury pull off uh, scissor heel hooks. Flying scissor heel hooks, that's, that's a part of every li everyday life for him. Yeah, Zufa boxing is apparently a thing. They're trailed by top rank boxing or T no top rank PBC boxing, I think. Our first bout of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
He stands six feet eight inches tall. Oh, look, they got the record there. Fighting out of Manchester, England. My son, the king. And now, fighting out of the. Oh, I'm going to skip a couple of these just because I. I want to get this done for uh, Junior Dos Santos before eight o'clock. Seven. And here we go. <laughs> Joe, what are your thoughts on the King coming into the octagon tonight? Oh my God! He's been pretty successful as of late. Three straight wins inside the octagon. Yeah, and that's the kind of winning streak that gets attention. If he can make it four in a row tonight, that'll send a message to the rest of the division. Swing and a miss. that Ooh, oh oh fuck it i was gonna try but Ooh, that was a poor counter i think i can't remember anymore oh cast was it with that and there's a body work from jds sweet uh-oh fuck it why not weakest punches ever uh oh Please no. JDS, stop. Stop. Oh, God. There we go. Uh. Hey, look at this. Tyson on top. Oh, my God. <gasps> Jesus. He's dead. Oh! He dives on him into the guard with that punch. Oh, he recovers. And the crowd continues to rally. Oh, my God. Couldn't even uh, pounce. Well, I, I left it a bit too long. Dude. Hello? How is he so good? Well, he's, he's fucking powerful, that's why. It just gets more brutal each time. Yeah, let's look at it again. Look at this shit. There was certainly bad intention when he throws this one. <laughs> Here we see it again. And that's it. We need to see a close up, yeah. Dead by his feet. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee <laughs> has called a stop to this contest at three minutes. Pretty sure Tyson will just go up to Dana and just stare at him before, until he gives the lets the fight go. I'm sorry, but this man's gonna be a beast in the universe. Well, actually, who knows? Because the air might use him a little differently. I did turn him to boxing primarily, but. If he get, if he gets put in submission, it's over. Like, yeah. Oh, Carl wouldn't be a fun fight. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But hey, every fight starts on the feet, right? Dude, I swear to God, if he submits anyone, I'm just going to laugh, bro. He has default subs and that's it, because you can't remove those, but... That would just be hilarious, seeing him submit people. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Stefan Struve and the King. Should be a decent fight. <laughs> I'd laugh at that. The King, making his way to the world famous octagon. He's a very tall fighter, and that gives him an obvious reach advantage when the fight is on its feet. When he keeps a guy at the end of his jab, it turns into a very one-sided fight. Those long limbs are extremely useful when setting up submissions as well. The King, ready to throw down and put on a show.
Yeah, I mean, who knows? We'll actually, I mean... Uh, that would be funny, to be fair. Okay, someone taller. Not by much, though. Okay, the Gypsy King against the Skyscraper. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the king? We've seen He's kind of jacked, it's uh, it's true. Oh, look at that. I, I definitely think it's possible. He's building confidence with every win. And I, I, his his grappling gives me a bit of uh, is about uh, it is a bit of a worry. And the kind of confidence you get from a winning streak really helps you do that. Oh. He caught the leg. Oh, there you can catch punches. Tyson knows how to do that, at least. Oh, a little bit gas, but that's okay. I'll recover. It's uh, I think Tyson's a little bit more agitated. Like he wants to get fights done a bit quicker because he doesn't want to give him a chance to get him to the ground. Oh, but he ate a yeah, not your best, uh, not the best nice idea, mate. Oh, that keeps missing. Oh, that could have gone worse. <gasps> Yikes. Yes. But he won't fall far down. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Yeah, that's never happening in real life. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Ha ha, fool! Right out of it, Come on. For those up kicks, Joe. There we go. Oh my god, goodbye. He ate that one. Oh, he recovers. This crowd is no thanks. Nuts. Let me out of here. Oh, good thing the, the good thing it's so. Oh my god, this is so hilariously slow. End the round, end the round. Jesus. <laughs> Glad that wasn't real time. He doesn't know what the word jab means. Stephen and Struve just think jabs mean fucking hooks. So just scream hooks at him and he'll throw jabs maybe. I need a fucking Tyson Fury sound clip that I can just play on demand for this. Every time he gets knocked out, you big dosser. Or some other thing that he said. Okay, I'm going to come out off the, off the again. Smash. No, I didn't get to. He was prepared. No thanks. Uh-oh. Not a fan. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Go, 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 go. Break that, break that, break that. Get out. Yeah, switch stances. There you go. Or switching stances, rather. Oh! Nice knee. He's really hitting with those knees. Doesn't really matter. Oh! Fuck it. Oh well. Oh, goodbye. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. He's in the full guard. Uh oh. Okay, we out. Oh my god. 
Watch for the up kick. Got to watch the up kick. Nice use of the up kick here. If he gets careless, he can get knocked out. And again. Oh, this and one another. is getting ugly. Into the guard. I should be careful of those triangles, right? I'm playing with fire here. There we go. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god, I sent him halfway across the fucking octagon with that. Okay, that's new. Look at this shit. Bang, and back he flies. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. <laughs> yeah, he does. Boom! <laughs> right on the button, Joe. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buff. Dana White, where the title shot? I destroy like six people in the row. Eighteen seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout, Tyson, the king. This is too easy. Well, not really, but it means I've got to get knocked out. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Please not Kane. It's gonna be Kane, isn't it? The headlines, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go with your chicken! That was like a whip. I, I didn't roll the R properly on the yaw. I'm disappointed with myself. Gotta, gotta commit Sudoku. <laughs> I know it's not actually Sudoku, but you know. Playing into the joke. They do have interim belts in this game, yeah. Hey, well, this is a bit easier. Well, get, fun when we get to the stair down for the title fight. <clears throat> Thank you. I might need it. Oh my god, I can feel that. Flicker versus Flicker, huh? Ow, I was scratching my mouth. Oh, get the... No, oh dear. Okay, smart. Smart. Very smart from Shane. Not gonna lie, not a big fan. <laughs> not a big fan of getting smashed in the face. Look at his side control. What's this voodoo? Top mount. Oh right, well, I didn't get the posture up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Well, apparently he can. This is elite level. Really, I mean, I should... It's just habit, because I know the reversal. Well, it's not habit, but I know the I know the timing, so I sort of know his transition. Otherwise, it would be a lot harder. So it means you can, really, you can transition with even a one-rated fire if you know the timing. We're backing up. Oh. What are you doing, Shane? Don't gas. Actually, yes, gas. <laughs> oh, I'll show you an uppercut. No, okay, apparently I won't. Oh, he... Yeah, he's going. 
mad right now. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Got to press up against the cage here. Working for control. Let me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh, what the fuck, Tyson? No, it's not that way, Shane. Well, Shane, it's not that way. But, uh, this is insane. Oh my god. I don't know how he's so fucking good. I mean, I guess it's the power, but Jesus. Really ruthless performance here. Got on top of him. Thank you. Give me a title shot! Seriously though. Please? It's gonna, it's gonna make me fight Kane, isn't it, first? He deserves title shot. Okay. Ah, that's not a good matchup. Kane and Frank. Whoopee. Frank is a tiny bit chittier, so maybe him, but please, I don't want like it. Please don't get me a submission, Frank. Be nice. While I smash your head into the canvas. He's normal. Don't worry. He's normal. He's normal. I bet it's good. They're going to make Tyson go through the hardest road. Hardest path. It's going to be Kane. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Kane. Yep. It's a heavyweight collision between national wrestling champion Kane Velasquez and the King. Come on. Get to fight. I want to smash. <clears throat> well, I got a big height advantage. But I'm fucked if it takes me down. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, he stands six feet eight inches tall. And now, <sighs> and when the action begins. All right, Mario. Shit. Well, <clears throat> one of us is going to take a fuck ton of damage for finally. Well, the fight before the fight finally getting stopped. Joe, how do you approach this fight if you're the king? He has the I like opportunity that. to come out of this matchup, Joe, as the number one contender for the heavyweight title. Oh, okay, this is bad. Right. In the world coming into this fight, he's confident, aggressive. Look at those kick feints. Not gonna let anything stand in the way of his title shot. <laughs> yeah. Why did I? Why did I? Let's call that. Okay, he's start. He's getting under my winging. Hooks. There's a bit of a cut here on Velasquez, Mike. I should work that jab a bit more. Gotta work that jab. Oh, good combination. Oh, nice. Oh. To go for a straight left. Look at that, I can check leg kicks. Ooh. He caught the leg into the guard. I mean, he's not going to submit me, so. I'm so I'm big enough, let me just get in. Fuck it, let's stand up. Ooh. <laughs> Just over a minute remains. Come on, throw me, I dare you. Just about one minute okay, that might be a problem. Might be a problem, might be a problem. 
Are you trying to foot stop me? I'm Tyson fucking fury. Oh my, okay. Didn't expect that. Oh dear. This is bad. This is very bad. Escape! Please don't submit me. Hello! Kim, what else is? Hello! Uh oh. Fucking hell, that didn't help. That just made him more mad. Yeah, but the crowd's on my side at least. No bad areas, okay. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class striking right there. Got me. Okay. These fights are getting a little tougher. The beautiful Shandella Powell. Cut that offense, cut that angle. Cut that offense, cut that angle. Cut that offense, cut that angle. I know that off by heart at this point. <laughs> this is round two. Is it me or are we, are we moving like apocalyptically slow for a second? We were. Right, Kane, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to send you to the Shadow Realm. I pray for your 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 your, your brain after this because Mario's going to let you go for a while. So. Ow. Hey. Let's see if we get some. He's really landing those Wow, okay. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Punishing shots to the body. Oh, but he recovers. Okay, oh, this is bad. Fuck it. <laughs> Had to try. Had to try. <laughs> Oh no! 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 Under three minutes now. This is terrible. This might be it, guys. This might be. Yeah. Pushing his opponent and he lets him back up. Okay, Tyson, come on. <gasps> Fuck. Velasquez has opened up now, Mike. That is a big cut. Under two minutes remains in round number two. This fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. Oh, body shot. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Nice. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. He's down. That one dropped him. Let's finish it. Come on, Tyson! There we go. It is all over. Wow, what a performance. And still undefeated. The, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury! If this man hurts you, he eats your brain. Like, he eats you. It's over. Yeah, that was a great war. Well, no, that, that would imply it was World War One. It was, a, it was a hell of a war. There you go. <laughs> and with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. That'd be a fun fight. Pretty sure Mickwee would um, either die in three seconds flat or manhandle Tyson on the ground. The King! Ha ha ha! Rage, peace, brutality. Dossa! Five hundred shot points bring a number one contender. Thank you. Total shot, baby! Right. Frank Mir's up next. I hope he doesn't... He's not going to wrestle as much, at least. I hope. He shouldn't, but hey, this is Frank. I mean, he might... 
you might go um, full Brock Lesnar just because it's, you know, it's a Titan. But then Frank Mir has always been the type of guy to um, prove, try to prove himself in the opponent's best, you know, best discipline. Like, he'll try to outbox Big Nog, submit Big Nog, all that kind of stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah, wins! Woo! I predict these things. He's got his gum shooter in the way it's okay. He's so big, dude. <laughs> dude, Tyson Fury versus Isaac Frost. That shit's gotta happen. Fight pose or casual? What should we do? I think we'll go casual. Epilepsy warning, by the way. <laughs> How cool is that? That the way it exists in event mode. Almost said event mode. Title mode, sorry. Dadlin mode, Dadlin mode. Not not, not event one. Right. Let's get this one in then, shall we? Then I'm going to head off and uh, I will probably put the results in the thingy layer. In the uh, community tab. But I thank you everyone for sticking through the sticking by. St st stick it around. Even though it's uh, not the, um, the card anymore. I shall try, yeah. <clears throat> Different animation for the title fights, of course. Well, not of course, but yeah. Enter the octagon and attempt to capture the belt. He's a very tall fighter, and that gives him an obvious reach advantage when the fight is on its feet. When he keeps a guy at the end of his jab, it turns into a very one-sided fight. Those long limbs are extremely useful when setting up submissions as well. The king ready to throw down and take home the title. So I'll skip the intros with Frank or just let him play? Although, actually, no, I do want to watch the, um... I do want to watch the, um, the stare down, so... Mir is extremely dangerous on the ground. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and for a man his size, he's very quick with his submissions. He's also a decent striker, and has been at the top of this heavyweight division for most of his career. Frank Mir, fired up and ready to show why yeah, he okay. is the champion. Our tale of the take is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <sighs> Dude, I don't... Uh, assuming Tyson isn't on Roy's already, I don't think he is. That would be scary. TRT Tyson Fury? Game over, world. Hey, nice job. Looks good. I get the struggle with them. Um, Thank you, there. Don't worry. Right. 
referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is... This... Look at the distance between them. Any touch? Oh, wow. Dude, they're fucking skittish. They just want to fight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. See this playing out for the challenger. He's in there tonight fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. Let him miss. Finally getting a title shot in the UFC. The champion had better not take this guy lightly, Mike. He dominated so many of the top guys in this division, and he seems determined to take that belt home. <laughs> oh. Hit that. Uh, let me uh, post it. There you go. Ow. Just jabbing that face. No problem. Jab that face. It is actually quite fun doing this now. There you go, pop that. Oh. There you go, keep them at range. Man, I actually, I've never used the jab this much. It's quite fun, actually. It's not super powerful, but it's quick. I'm surprised Frank isn't trying to take it to the ground at all. Just punishing him. Yeah, it is. Good counter though, Joe. Both men scoring points here. <sighs> Dude, the crowd the crowd feels like it's getting a bit more hype here. Under ninety seconds remains in round one. Uh oh. Range here, Joe. Don't wanna be hit. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Submit me, I don't care. I don't care. That's good. Ooh, yo. <sighs> okay. Beautiful submission attempt at the end. A few more seconds, and I think we'd have seen a tap out. Tyson survives. So did I, honestly. But see, they. They tend to go for submissions. These grapple, the 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 the, the grapplers, they go for subs. So if you can sort of, it gives you a second chance. Yeah. Um. Got got to work on uh, counting off the jab a little bit. I'm I'm not used to it. Um, I was trying to catch some strikes a bit too much, as well. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. The beautiful Ariani. Here we go. What an explosive first round that was. Don't want to be caught leaving that jab out there anymore. He's hurt. He's it's over. Well, he's hurt. Let's. We're up, we're up, we're getting up. Dude, this is... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to follow up on that one. 
Mario letting him be a warrior even though he's, he's, his soul has departed from his body. Yeah, that was fun, dude. That that straight is devastating. Goodbye, Frank. They just all crumble. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Yep. Classic Mario. Has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest. Ironically, Frank May's shirt says suffer. Yeah. Suffer he did, yeah. The Neil Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> He's the new UFC champion. Oh. Did he just say the king takes the crown? Thanks, man. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here because the. All one highlights are about to start. Um, thank you ever so much for coming by. I hope you enjoy the title mode. There we go. Tyson Fury, 8-0, heavyweight champion. I threw like two kicks. So, hey. Try to go as box heavy as possible. All fights end by knockout. Just total destruction. Like, fucking, he was on a warpath. But don't know, I'm out. So I hope you all enjoyed. Um, don't forget, next week we will have... Um, thank you. Uh, next week we will have uh, UFC 4. So look out for that one. Be, uh, get ready. Uh, look forward to that one, rather. Um, I'm going to work, uh, finish, work on finishing a big project. Uh, in the meantime, upload a couple of videos. And we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, do another stream in the next few days on something else. Probably... Metal Gear Solid 4 or something. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, thank you, Richard, John, Fight Queen, Jones, uh, everyone who came by. Azari, Mazza, uh, Charant, Liam, Beta, Vargas, everyone who came by. Thomas, everyone, there's too many to name. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for coming by. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you uh, tomorrow probably, or the day after. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.